According to numerous accounts, cholera has existed in India since antiquity and originated in the warm and brackish water of the Bay of Bengal. At the turn of the 16th century, a Portuguese officer returning from the Indies brought back a chronicle of his travels and fear of a terrible scourge engulfed the old continent. In 1817, the first cholera pandemic marked the beginning of a new era. From India, where it originated, the disease followed trade routes to reach all four corners of the globe. Arriving in London in 1832, in the middle of the Industrial Revolution, 7,000 people died of cholera. That same year, it was the turn of New York, and at the peak of the epidemic, 100 people a day were dying of the disease. The seventh pandemic began in South Asia in 1961, hit Africa in 1971, then South America in 1991, before moving on to its latest victims in Haiti in 2010. In 1831, Alexandre Moreau de Jeunesse was alone in maintaining that the disease was caused by a germ. In 1849, John Snow, a physician and the founder of modern-day epidemiology, suspected that it was spread via water distribution networks. Three years later, London decided as a precautionary measure that the city's water would be filtered through sand before being distributed, a method that still proves effective today. In the second half of the 19th century, many scholars of all nationalities examined Vibrio cholerae, a comma-shaped bacteria which causes the disease. In 1854, the Italian Filippo Pacini isolated the bacteria. Thirty years later, Robert Koch, the German physician famous for discovering the tuberculosis bacteria, took all the credit for showing that the comma-shaped bacteria is indeed the cause of the disease. The first effective treatments were the work of Englishman Leonard Rogers, who developed an intravenous rehydration solution in India. The drop in mortality rates was spectacular. Meanwhile, in Marseille, chlorinating the water supply halted the spread of the epidemic. A century later, in the 1950s, biologists showed that the bacteria produced a toxin. This discovery led to the development of oral rehydration therapy, still the most commonly used today. <laughs>